In this video, we are going to study coefficient of determination in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only, and no professional advice is included within it. OK, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video, which we're going to comment here, is we need to load the corresponding package. Therefore, step one, package. And we load the package using library function. And for this video, we'll be using AER package and we're using that for the data. To run that code line at any part of it, we go ahead and click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we'll be using data function and within it, we include the name of the data object, which is house prices. This house prices object is included within AER package. And to run the code line, again, we either click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Notice that this created the house prices object within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on this project kind of icon, this opens the data for us. In this video, we're going to focus on the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can go into the Help tab and search for the object name, which is House Prices. Select it, and then you'll see the documentation below. So now that we have the data ready, we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to fit a multiple linear regression Therefore, we create an object name MLR equals to, and we'll be using LM function, and within it we have the following parameters. The first of this is formula equals to, and we have as dependent or explained variable price, which is being explained by, that's the special character, the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms. Comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above. Again, to run that code line, we press Control Enter on the keyboard. So now that we have the model ready, we can continue with step number four, which is to print its results. For this, we can go ahead and input summary function and within parentheses the name of the object, which is MLR and press Control enter on the keyboard. So notice that this prints the summary results within the console. If we scroll up, we see at the beginning, the call with the LM function and its parameters. We scroll down, we see the coefficients, and at the bottom, we see multiple R squared and adjusted R squared. Notice that in this video, we're fitting a multiple linear regression. Therefore, we have a coefficient of multiple determination or a multiple R squared. So this multiple R squared is the percentage of the variance of the dependent variable, which is being explained by its relationship with the independent or explanatory variables. And then we have the adjusted R squared, which is the percentage of the variance of the dependent variable being explained by its relationship with independent or explanatory variables adjusted for degrees of freedom. What we can also do with results is we can create an object name SMLR, which is the summary from that multiple linear regression. And we're going to store the summary, so use summary function of MLR within it. And we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. So notice that this created an SMLR object, which is summary.lm type of object within the global environment. If you want to read the full documentation of what's included within that object, again, you can go into the help tab and search for the name, which is summary.lm and select the name. And below, you'll see the full documentation. So what we do from that object is from SMLR with the dollar sign, we're going to select some of its values. 
The first of it is going to be R squared, and then enter in the keyboard. And also from SMLR, we're going to select the adjust R squared. And what we do next is we select these two code lines and we press Ctrl and turn the keyboard. And as you can see within the console, this printed directly the R squared and the adjusted R squared. And if we compare them, we see that they are the same values. Here we have the R squared and we compare it with the multiple R squared. And then we have the adjusted R squared and we compare it with the value and we see that they are the same. Okay. So now that we finish with the code file, we go ahead and save it. And with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.